Okay, so it's been a while. Anyway, uh, all right, so this is on the outside. Your wire would be on the inside. This is not the best design because you have too much magnetic attraction to it and there's not enough transfer. You need The wire has to be in direct contact with the iron. So anyway, this would be north all the way and this one would be south all the way, connecting up those four. If it changes, like that would be south, this would also be south, and then the other side would be north. You get the advantage of <clears throat> four magnetic fields acting as one. That's one. Okay, so this is using an inside iron or metal. This doesn't work. Simple as that, because they combine. Wrapping them completely, like this one does, wrapping the coil completely, also doesn't work because the magnetic field combines. On the inside of this, I have this design, but on the inside and in direct contact with the wire. Um, I had a coil up here that I was showing before with the wire and saying three more times output. Well, that happens because iron has, soft iron will pick up three times as much magnetism. Um, that's just the way it is, but it also has three times as much cogging. Now, cogging is different than magnetic drag. Cogging is when you spin it and it produces, but the drag is so hard that you have to overcome that. And you overcome that by Archimedes, uh, using, going farther out from your center point. Um, that would be one. This, to me, it doesn't follow nature. This design for generation is adequate for 200 years, but it doesn't follow nature, and I don't understand why we have always stuck with it. But it's 200 years old, and that's my explanation.